Hey everyone, Blender and this guy here with another Blender game engine tutorial. Today I want to show you one more way to add foliage models to your landscapes. In my previous video I showed you how to add grass, so now we will add the trees to our landscape. I've got three tree models prepared on a hidden layer, which are all part of a group. So now we switch to Blender Render and go to the particle settings. Let's add a new particle system and change the type to hair. In the render tab we can select the mode group and add our tree group. It might happen that some of your models are not oriented correctly, which results in them lying on the ground. We can easily fix that by selecting the original model in the hidden tab. Let's change to normal transform. It's important to have your model facing into the direction of the y-axis. This means we have to rotate our model in edit mode by 90 degrees. In my case I have to rotate the model around its origin and I can easily do that by pressing dot. This helps me to easily rotate my object. When we go back to our landscape we can see that now all the trees are rotated correctly. Let's change some particle settings now. We want to enable advanced set random distribution and increase the size a bit. We can also add some random rotation for the individual trees to make it more realistic. After we are happy with our settings, we decrease the number of particles to zero. To paint our trees onto the landscape, we have to go to the particle edit mode. Select the add brush and adjust the count to two. Increase the radius a bit. And now we can start painting hair. Keep in mind that every single hair represents one tree. So you don't want to add too many to keep the performance of your game high. We can go into object mode to see our trees on the landscape. Let's edit this a bit more. Removing trees is also very simple. Just use the cut brush to remove the hair particles. I want them to be only on the sides for example, so I'm gonna remove the trees in the middle here. Play around with the settings some more to fit your scene and to get the result you like. A cool tip is to decrease the particle count to 1, which allows you to draw a clear line of particles. This might be very handy for certain objects, though it's not very useful for trees in this example. When you're happy with your result, switch back to object mode. It's now time to apply our particles. Go to the modifiers and click convert. And that converts all the particles into individual objects. So now the trees can be also viewed in the Blender game engine. Move the trees on a separate layer and switch back to Blender game engine. And there you go. That's another way to easily add any type of foliage to your scenes. Leave a like if you learned something and subscribe for future tutorials on the BGE and other topics. This was Blender Render Sky. Have a nice day.